Jack Noons is next, the 27-year-old recruit who came to us from St. Kilda last year. And probably another one who was a bit of a shock. I didn't really have him on the radar. And he's not someone that the club really put on their radar as well. But, you know, for the last three, four, five years, we've always been bringing in these, I don't know if you call them top-up players or players from other clubs who didn't get a chance. You know, the, the Aaron Mullets, the Cam O'Shea's and... I don't look at Nunes as one of those acquisitions because, you know, he was in their best 22. He played, he played, I feel like he played 150 straight games for them. I'm, I'm not sure, but he's got a, a really quirky stat like that. And, you know, he brings that experience to us. He's 27 and he's played 155 games. I mean, you know, when you lose the ilk of Daisy Thomas, you know, you replace that with the experience of Jack Nunes. And, you know, he's come to the club. He's trained very hard. He's pretty much participated in every session that I've seen. Um, he's a very unassuming guy, even in the practice match last week. If you check the, the votes, I think it was the Herald Sun or AFL.com.au, they had him in the best players. I didn't personally notice him, but that doesn't mean he wasn't great. I mean, I remember last year there were games where Lockie Plowman, I never noticed him, but he ended up getting, you know, scoring really highly in the BNF. So, you know, Jack Noons comes with. I guess the expectation that, you know, getting a game is not going to be given to him. He's going to have to earn it. He strikes me as the type of character who enjoys that challenge. And again, I haven't met him. I don't know him personally, but just, you know, you try and read between the lines of the information that's available to you and the interviews that he's done and just the way he speaks, you know, he, he knows exactly where it's at. You get the sense. And look, listen, he, they talk about him playing on a wing or across half back. It seems like he's got that versatility. He's a very strong runner. That's something I can definitely see when I'm going to training. He's a he's a strong runner. He pushes you know himself uh, to get better each time. And yeah, look, that type of attitude. You know, the more of those type of players at our club, the better. I've always said, you know, what I want to see from from our club is a group of thirty players who, on any given day, you can put them into play AFL and you won't be disappointed. And I made the comparison to the Aaron Mullets and the Cam O'Shea's in the past. And listen, as a supporter, when I used to see those guys take the field, no disrespect to them, you know, they've made the AFL and, you know, obviously that's a very big achievement. But when I used to see Mullet and O'Shea line up for us, honestly, straight away, I'd be thinking, oh, it's going to be one of those days. I don't get that with, with Jack Noons. If I see him line up round one, I'd be pretty stoked. He's he's not he's not a um, a guy that was sort of, shown the door because he couldn't make it work. Um, so, yeah, look, I'm excited for him. I hope he can have a bigger impact than what most people expect. I think he's a little bit of an unknown for us, which could go either way. And, you know, I think at best he might be a Nick Newman type pickup who, again, we didn't have, we didn't know too much about him coming into last year other than he just, you know, struggled to get a, a regular game at Sydney but was good enough. And, you know, Newman obviously had a pretty good year for us. So if we get anywhere near the type of output that Nick Newman got last year from Jack Noons. And listen, I'll be, I'll be stoked with that. So yeah, look, it's an interesting one. Um, what about you? Have you seen much of Jack Noons at training or during the practice match? Are there any highlights of his that stood out for you? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you think he'll play around one.